My name is Costa. I'm your technical competence manager from the Yaskava Channel Partner DMC team. Today I'm going to be talking about the, the Sigma 7 single EtherCAT Zebra Pack. And we built up a connection to our Slio 015N EtherCAT CPU with our simple motion blocks. These simple motion blocks are related to the PLC Open and I show you how easy we can configure in the Speed7 Studio and how we use it with our Sigma 7. Let's get started with the configuration. The first part. The wiring, I use here a RJ45 cable and I connect my Sigma 7 in the cat port with my Silio EvaCat 015 in the cat port. Okay, now I have connected my server pack and my Sigma 7. So the next step is now to build up a connection from my laptop with Speed7 Studio software to my Slio PLC 015N, the EtherCAT CPU, to my PGOB port. You see, we have also two PGOB ports on this Slio PLC. I have prepared here my AJ45 cable from my laptop. Now we connect to this Slio PLC. Now I have connected my PGOB port and we are now finished with the wiring. So the second part now is we build up now a connection from our laptop with Sigma Win Class, this is the programming tool for the Sigma 7. So we can also set all these parameters in our servo pack. I have here my cable I have also prepared. And I connect now to my port. We have built up now the wiring and we start now the software. We click on the top on the left side the home button and follow now to start and connect the servo pack. Automatically appears a window with communication settings. We click here to connect. This take a few seconds. Now you see the overview from the Sigma Win Plus, from the Sigma 7 configuration tool. We click now here to this menu, bu menu button, then appears a window, and then you have the possibility to check the product information, what server pack and encoder we have inside in our application. We have here absolute code, how you see here. And we have also a EtherCAT servo pack with the article number, what you see here. Okay, I can close now our application. I click again the menu button. And here we click on edit parameters. You see here a lot of parameters, but we don't need to set or to change all these parameters. On our manual you find which are important to configure and to set. Please compare it and modify in Sigma Win Plus. Okay, after that 
you can write all these parameters to our server pack. We click on all parameters and we say here also OK. OK, after that we are finished with Sigma 7 and we can close Sigma Win Plus. You can say here OK and we save the changes to our desktop. Okay, now we have also set the parameters to our Sigma 7. The third part now is to configure our SLU PLC. And here we have also an advantage. You find all demo projects from each protocol in this P7 Studio uh, software, where you find it, I show you now. Please open now your install driver. In my case, is the Windows C, and here the program folder x86. Double click. And here we find a folder FIPA. Please click on this and on Speed7 Studio, the third one. There are public folder. We click on public and here you find the demo projects. I click on this demo project and we use here our simple motion blocks. I click on simple motion and there you find also from another protocols here demo project. We use here our Sigma 7 EtherCAT. We have here our Sigma 7. I copy it and I desktop. Now I start my Speed 7 Studio software and I import this demo project in the Speed 7 Studio. I click on Import Project. Then appears a window and here you choose your product, project file. You click here on this button and I have here my desktop and the team project. I remark it and say here open. And I confirm here to import this project in the Speed7 Studio. This takes a few seconds and you see here also a status. They import the project, they read the project data. They're preparing also the data and saving the data in the Speed7 Studio software. After this green bar are finished, how you see here, you click on done and automatically you get to the demo project. Okay, now we have our demo project inside to our Speed7 Studio software. And there we need to configure an IP address to our new PLC so we can build up a connection to our Speed7 Studio software. I show it how we, we do it. Okay, on the left side we have always our project tree and there you find the hardware configuration, software configuration and all status and all components. We click now on device properties, then appears a window, click to accessible partners and click here to search. And this is a search in my network. Okay, my network, I have always only my SLU PLC. All these networks to find components. And in my case, I have only one with four times zero. I remark it and I change the communication settings. I say here 10.0.0.17 and say here set. At the same time I click the set, the IP address is temporarily on the sleeve PLC and refresh again all this network. Okay. 
I have now configured the 10.0.0.70 and my IP address for my network are 10.0.0.100. That means we are in the same IP range. Then I can close this window. Please note at this point, these IP address are only temporary. If I switch off and switch on now the power supply, this tempor temporary IP address is gone. We don't have it. We need to transfer the hardware container in the PLC so that we have always the IP address in the CPU Slio 015. Okay. I go to my PLC, I double click on this and I change here also the IP address what I want to use it. I have here the 10.0.0.70 I configure and I say here OK to confirm it. After that we can save the project. You find on the status bar here an icon to save it. And also we compile this project, this demo project with the hardware container. Also a few seconds and after that I can transfer also the hardware container and the software container in the PLC. I click on my project tree, the PLC, right mouse click and I say here transfer all. After that appears a window and here we can make a test connection if everything is okay. And here we see the connection test to the device was successful, very nice and we confirm it to transfer all this project in the PLC. Okay, very nice. Everything is green and the transfer completed without error. Now we can close this project. Now we have transferred the demo project in the PLC and the last part now is here to use our simple motion blocks to initialize our server pack and also our CDU PLC inside that. Here we use our watch table in the Speed 7 Studio software that we have prepared to do all these settings. Okay. Here on my project on the left side under PLC program you find also the watch table and a app control. I double click on this and you see then our watch table here. Here you have our button a list group and here we have a list group with control, status and init. The first thing what we need is always the init. You see here the init enable. We go online. Okay, and the value is false. And how I see here on the bottom, uh, we have a, a red button. That means our PLC are in stop. That's right. Okay, and you see automatically from red goes to green, this here, the LED. Okay, now I control this value. Okay, I see here the checkbox is on. Okay, I click here to control it. This comes always the first time. You can check here this box. Don't show the message again. With yes, and you see automatically the initialization are done with two. We can close this group within it. The next one is the control. Here, the first time we need also the settings from the velocity, the acceleration, deceleration, from the jog velocity and the normal velocity. We use here the jog velocity. I change it here to. And 
I have here also the seconds, one second and one second. Okay. I can control these three values here with the button control. And you see here automatically my chalk velocity are one rotation with acceleration with one second and deceleration also with one second. Okay, now we can enable our axis. I control now from false to true and I click here the control button. Okay, now it's enabled. You see here also our motor you can't rotate. This is in the home position here now. And they wait our instruction. And you hear also that they wait our values. Okay. Let's bring to rotate this motor. I go back to my watch table and now we can say here chalk positive to true and I control it. You see it works. So now we are finished with this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this configuration, how we build up this EtherCAT connection from the Sigma 7 to our Slio PLC. Please catch the opportunity with the simple motion blocks. These are very powerful and they have a lot of new features and also settings what we have configured. That what I show you here are only the basics that you can see how easy it works and you can rotate your motor. Thank you very much once again to watch this tutorial and I hope I see you next time. So long, bye.